Well, look what wandered home with me from the Goodwill today. Got more thrift stores. This is from the thrift store, of course. It is a Samsung Sync Master uh, 204B. The outer casing is scratched, but it looks like the panel is just full of dirt. So I said, why not? Um... Uh, this is a pretty nice looking monitor. It's got, uh, it reminds me of those Dell monitors with these uh, up and down stand things. Yeah, that the thing goes up and down. It's a little bit heavy for me to do it with one hand. Paid $8 for this because it doesn't work at the present time. Ugh, heavy thing. It's a rather heavy thing. Here's the cool thing about it. It has a hardware on and off switch. Takes a regular IEC power cord. Wow, that's better. And it's DVI and VGA. And that DVI was important to me. I definitely want to use that. Um, so, yeah. Let's move that out of the way so we can look at the tag. There's the tag. It's a... All this fun stuff. It's a uh, September 2006 model. And that was during an era where bad capacitors were everywhere, including some stuff that I bought back in those days. I had an Asus motherboard that had bad caps through and through. And I have a feeling that that's what's wrong with this monitor, because it doesn't work. I'll, sh I'll plug it in and show you. Let me uh, get this going here again. plug her in. Okay. This is what it does, and let me, hold on. This is what it does. It just flashes like that constantly. If I turn the monitor on, it makes no difference. When you turn the monitor on, that's what happens. And I can also faintly hear electronic sort of sound coming from the top. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. It's like a faint little ding, 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 ding with the light. It's like a little chirp. I don't know if my microphone will pick that up, but... This to me looks like a power supply problem. So I bet I bet you anything this is caps capacitors through and through. I looked up I looked this up online and this particular sync master model seems to have that problem with capacitors, so I'm going to uh, So I'm gonna open this up and diagnose it and see what's going on in here. All right, I got the uh, I got the monitor apart here. I think there's a date in here. Maybe. Maybe not. No, yeah, that's just some badge thing. The inside of this, the inside of this, these plastic pieces is not that pretty. But I managed to get it apart. There's the panel. The panel looks good to me. Here's the back, and this is what we need to look at. What did I tell you? It's all caps. That's the problem here. Look at these. Those two are bulging. All three of those are bulging. Every single cap in here is bulging. All of them. Oh, except for that little one down there. And the big filter cap there. All these caps here are bulging. Kind of capture these. Let me get the light on. Okay. Uh, I think the, the big ones are caps on, so I assume that's what the rest are. Let's look at these. Yeah, these are caps on caps. 330 microfarad, 25 volt. These two here started leaking electrolyte. 
so I should probably take care of those pretty soon. Uh, and we have all three over here. Yeah, they aren't looking too good. <laughs> 820 microfarad, 25 volt caps on caps. At least those two are. The other one's another 330. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that in the uh, plastic wrap it or the uh, plastic wrap. I don't know if that's a cap or what. I don't think it is. That might be uh, something else. But these caps look terrible. So, they're getting replaced. That's for sure. I think that's exact. That's exactly what the problem is. Because I sh I showed you in the uh, early earlier in the video that uh, basically it just looked like a power supply problem. It kept turning on off, on off, on off. So, it looks like what I'm doing is replacing caps. I think the filter cap might be okay. I might replace it anyway, just in case. But these caps should be easy to find and replace, so I will do that. I'll just make a note of <clears throat> what caps I need and get those all good to go. Caps, everything on the uh, logic board here looks okay, though, uh, since it's all solid caps, although you can't really tell if solid caps go. Um, it's hard to tell. But I have the feeling that the logic board here is probably fine. Dip. What is dip? There is no dip. Yeah, logic board looks fine, but this power supply is not good. So, that will be a repair video in the future. I'm going to uh, just show you guys how to do some simple recapping for things like this. Let's say you find a monitor at a thrift store, like I just did. <clears throat> the monitor doesn't work due to what looks like power supply problems. Um, this is definitely why. Uh, I'm just glad it wasn't like an inverter going bad or something so this is a very expensive monitor when it was new so I'm definitely going to fix this and use it uh, I believe it's a 1600 by 1200 resolution I can't quite remember um, but when I fix it we'll find out so there you have it guys repair videos to follow I'll order these caps and then we'll uh, we'll take care of it hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good one everybody ciao